Trisha gonna play basketball. Yeah. That lady got a husband and seven kids. And today is Thursday, October 12th, 2023. And we are working out in the gym at the YMCA. This is our first day bringing our son, Choice, is a blessing with us. For those of you who aren't aware, Choice is 11 years old. He does have autism spectrum disorder. This is the child who I didn't know who his father was, and it ended up being my husband. My husband has been there since Choice he was born. He was in prison when Choice was born, but when he, Choice was just a couple weeks old, he went to work release, and I'll never forget when Wood first held Choice. I still got the picture, and he said, you knew this was my baby. <laughs> That baby don't look like that boy. By that time, I had already had a DNA test, and we knew that the other guy was not the father. Y'all think that that's T, but we've known those results since 2012, February of 2012, and Choicey was born in January, January 23rd, 2012. God is good. I love my husband. We have been through so much together. We have literally grown up into adults together. When I met him, I was 16 he was 18. He had already had two children at 18 years old. He had already been to jail, juvenile detention centers, um, boot camps. He had already been through so much before I met him, and I didn't even know these things. Had I known this journey would be so hard, I'm not going to lie, I would have picked an easier path. <laughs> but there's nobody in this world that I would rather be with than Mr. Gregory Underwood. I love this man so much. I see so many great things in him. I know that he's going to continue to get better and better. Lately, for like the past couple of months, I just keep praying, God, please help my husband find his purpose. God, please help my husband find his purpose. God, please help my husband find his purpose. And if I'm not in it, make me okay with it.